Though hippies don't dream the all-American dream, they've no disdain for money and spawn their own unworldly tycoons. Businessmen who run the Art Nouveau poster shops, the psychedelic Atessons, the rock and light shows. Groovy version of the man in the grey flannel suit is Chet Helm a promoter eager to spread the genuine hippie happening to London. Uh, what has happened here in San Francisco, to a large extent, has been due to the <coughs> cohesive uh, element given the subculture by the music and uh, by the light show music happenings and that sort of thing, where uh, large groups of people are gathered together in a non-repressive environment, in a, uh, a non-aggressive environment, in which they're not told what to do uh, from the very outset, from the door, you know, uh, in which, <coughs> let us say this, as an entertainer or as a producer, my basic theory of entertainment is that uh, the, the best way to entertain a person is to set up a situation or an environment in which uh, which is conducive to their ent entertaining themselves, which is basically what any person wants to do anyway. They want to do their thing. Now you're going to London. What, what, do you, what part of the scene are you going to take to London? Well, I hope to take a, a rather replete theatrical package which will <coughs> involve uh, a, a musical group from San Francisco. Um, it will involve the light show. It will involve a group of actor, dancer, provocateurs who function uh, in the capacity of generating energy in large groups of people. Energy generated at Chet's Total Environment Light Show is certainly something else. An assault on the senses, an LSD trip without drugs, flashing strobe lights, spermatozoic color.